I'm going to show you how to never have to update your Samsung or Android phone. You don't have to do the security um, or system update. You'll get this screen and it won't let you out of it. You have two choices to install later or install now. When you want to back out with your back button, you can't. You try to hit your home button, it won't let you out. You try to hit your recents button, it won't let you see that either. You hit the back top arrow button and it won't let you go. So if you um, select install later, it wants you to choose a time. See, it says you can defer installation 12 more times after this. Well, 12 more times was about two months ago, two and a half months ago. Um, so I'll tell you what happened. I found this trick and I know that it works. I can, I can assure you that it works because um, it was at 11 and I did this little trick that I learned and then I didn't check it ag again for another month. I just kept escaping. And so it was now a month after and when I checked it, it, it says 12, just like you see. I have 12 more times but I've been escaping this way more than you can imagine. So anyway, one of the first things that you will need to do before you have this issue is you are going to need to go into your developer options. That's up at your settings button. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of your settings and you will see developer options. Whoops. Now how you get into that developer options if if it just don't, if it if you haven't um, opted into that, you will need to tap it several times. Just keep tapping it until it says congratulations, you're a developer or you know, the the title of it has changed. So anyway, you go into developer options and then you scroll down where it says right here, auto update system. See it? I'm flashing it for you. You need to have, it'll be on. You need to turn it off. Okay? Because that auto system update likes to hijack your phone in the night when you're sleeping, if you have auto restart uh, during the night time when you're sleeping turned on, it'll it'll hijack it then. It'll hijack it when you haven't used your phone for a while. It'll hijack it when you've plugged it in or if your screen is off for a while. So set this and it can't do that anymore. That is why I get the screen now. See, that's why I, I get the screen and it doesn't hijack it and force it on me. It won't force it on you. But then, did you notice that I was able to pull this down right here? Well, I'm also able to pull over my apps and access any of my apps. Okay? So from a sidebar that pulls open or from your notification screen, any notification at all, or from just your utility bar up here, uh, one, one of your selections. I use, I, it's just handy and easy for me. I don't have to sit there and go, do I want to touch this notification or that one? I just go to settings. And from any one of those things, any one of them, just now, you're going to hit your back button, your home button. Hit your home button, okay? 
hit your home button and you are out. So I hope that this helped you. Um, I want to monitor how um, valuable this information is to the community. So I normally don't ask for a like or a comment or a subscribe. But um, in the comments, you could put down whether you already knew this or whether you know of a different way. Um, if you would please, um, or, and you can subscribe to me because I have other tricks like this that I want to be uploading to help people. And, um, and um, the notification bell can help you know when I've uploaded one. Um, and also, if you wouldn't mind, please, to like it so that uh, I can get some feedback through the creator, YouTube creators, on how um, valuable this information is to others. And please do share it or save this link uh, to this video uh, in a note or something for yourself so that you can find it easily and get back to it if in case you forget. So anyway, um, hope this finds you well, and I'll see you in another video.